going on guys medicine in three minutes back here with another video and today we're going to be talking about dopamine deficiency so let's get started to understand uh, how we reach these levels of dopamine deficiency we must first understand uh, what monoamines are now monoamines are very important as they play a role in the brain with attention cognition and emotion now there are five different types of monoamines and they are called serotonin histamine epinephrine norepinephrine and dopamine now how can you tell what a monoamine is so generally a monoamine is uh, composed of a radical uh, nh uh, nh radical and an aromatic group now this is the case for all five of them however uh, out of the five there are three that have are subcategorized uh, with the name uh, catecholamine now these also have benzene uh, groups which are also connected with hydroxy groups now these are epinephrine norepinephrine and dopamine so you just remember these three are uh, in their own little subcategory now know oh, what monoamines are we can finally understand uh, how they are created through a diet and how they are uh, used up by the body now usually uh, when food is entered through the body um, there is a substance that is created called uh, phenylalanine and this can either take two trajectories so one is towards the brain and one is towards the liver now the first that is directed towards the liver um, when it reaches the liver it will turn into tyrosine now once it has reached the state of tyrosine it will direct itself to the uh, adrenaline glands which are slightly above the kidney and it will turn into uh, adrenaline medulla now once it has reached the stage of adrenal medulla it can turn into either uh, norep uh, uh, dopamine epinephrine or norepinephrine now all three of these are used to deal with stress and they are uh, passed through the liver so just remember uh, phenylalanine that is converted into norepinephrine dopamine and epinephrine and they're used to deal with stress and they go through the liver now the second um, trajectory that it can take is uh, to the brain now when it goes through the uh, towards the brain um, the only way that this tyrosine is created is if there is insulin and LNNA, uh, LNAA carriers now once these are present tyrosine is then created and it can move on to the blood brain barrier now keep in mind that it does not go directly to the brain without first crossing the blood brain barrier now once it has crossed this barrier the tyrosine will reach the brain and it will want to convert into dopa but this cannot be done until iron and uh, oxygen and folate are present now once these two are present then it will be able to convert into dopa once it has turned into dopa it will want to turn it to dopamine again this can't uh, occur unless there is pyridoxine present aka p5p and vitamin b6 and this will eventually turn dopa into dopamine now once it has reached the state of dopamine it can again uh, convert into norepinephrine and epinephrine now for it to convert into norepinephrine there must be copper iron and vitamin c and once it has reached the state of norepinephrine uh, if the blood donor sam e is present then it will be able to convert into epinephrine now once it has reached this these three uh, monoamine states um, they will all be used to concentrate and focus and that would be uh, the main use for it once it has gone through uh, the trajectory of the brain. dopamine um, and serotonin deficit levels now this is to understand uh, what symptoms you will get this chart is uh, pretty useful I'd keep it in I'd keep it in hand just in case you ever need it now when dopamine when there is a dopamine deficit um, you will find Parkinson like symptoms or um, anhedonia now if there is a serotonin level of uh, deficit then you will find OCD like symptoms if there is depression it can either come from dopamine deficit or serotonin deficit so that is important to keep in mind now uh, what are some symptoms of uh, the deficit now uh, four of the main symptoms that you can find are uh, a lack of drive uh, usually a lack of drive is meaning a lack of motivation uh, a lack of focus or concentration uh, an ADHD profile so someone who has a low uh, attention um, span or an attention deficit disorder or uh, depression now 
these are the four uh, main symptoms for uh, the de deficits. Okay, so that concludes this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Sorry it was a little long today, but we had a lot to cover. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys understood it clearly. And uh, we'd love to hear you guys' feedback. If you guys have anything to say about the videos, anything we did wrong, um, anything you'd like us to clear up on, we definitely love your feedback. And please like and subscribe if you're new. Uh, we release a video at least once a week. Um, yeah, we'd love to, hopefully, we'll try and uh, release one or two videos a week. And uh, yeah, we'll keep it going. So thank you guys so much for the support. And like, because success is contagious. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day.